Hey y'all, it's Bass Kato and I'm back in another video. So today I was so excited this weekend, you guys, because I was able to see the Barbie movie opening night, you guys, and that movie literally exceeded my expectations. Like, I didn't know what to expect with Barbie. Like, I thought it was gonna be kind of like a cheesy type movie, but it actually had like real world-ish, like real world, world issues and stuff in the movie, and it was really interesting. Like. They did a really good job with that movie, so this is not like a movie review, you guys. Like, I'm not no Rotten Tomatoes reviewer, no IMBD person, like, nah. This is not a movie review, but there were a few topics or, like, scenes in the Barbie movie that I definitely resonated with in real life, and I wanted to talk about it, you know? So, let's go ahead and roll the intro so we can get into the video. All right, you guys, so now that we rolled the intro, let's go ahead and get into the video. And I will say the topic that I resonated with a lot when it came to the Barbie movie was the topic of change. I don't know if that's like a topic, but I just noticed how in the movie, Barbie, she was against change. Like she wanted everything to be the same and like change, having things change was like scary and stuff because you don't know what's gonna happen next. And I definitely feel her when it comes to that because right now in my life, I feel like I've been very stagnant. Like I've just been doing the same thing over and over again, like waking up, clocking in for work. I work from home, so I feel even more stagnant. So I'm working from home all day. Then once I get off of work, clock out, it's like I'm low key tired. And I also get off at six. So a lot of stores, if I wanted to go to the mall, this, that, and the third, it's like I would be rushing. And it's just like, I feel like I don't really have a life at the moment. I've been living in the same apartment for three years now, and which is crazy because I feel like most people move apartments after one or two years just because apartments, you know, they always be increasing your rent. This place definitely has been increasing my rent year after year. So I'm like, you know what? And also, my neighbors, they're starting to get really annoying. So, needless to say, like, I'm feeling stagnant in life. And it's like, I notice some people, the way I'm living is, like, probably their dream life. Because at the end of the day, I really don't pay for my apartment. I don't really pay for a lot of things because my parents still kind of take care of me in a way. But I'm still very independent. Like, I have my own job, and it's like, I can't afford everything like my rent and stuff if I needed to take over and but it's kind of like like I said before I feel stagnant and y'all if I'm talking all over the place it's because I'm kind of like thinking as I'm talking like venting so yeah I'm feeling stagnant but I do want to switch things up and change my life like I really do want to change my life and that's what I'm doing right now and it's scary like it's scary because I don't know what to expect there's things in motion that I'm putting in motion right now or have been planning and stuff and it's like I'm scared because I'm like what if everything doesn't work out like what if I make the wrong choice but I think that's like the beauty in life you know like everyone has choices in life and I don't think there's a such thing as like a wrong choice it's all about your journey you know you didn't make the wrong choice. You were meant to make that choice. So it's like, you can't live life full of regrets and you also can't be scared of life either. And I feel like for the past 
few years, like since I graduated college, I've been a little bit scared of life because I'm like, I don't know why talking about life like makes me so emotional. Also, I'm an emotional person in general, so I cry about everything, but that doesn't mean I'm like sad or anything. It's just like, I don't know how to release my emotions any other way. It's like, I've been scared of life because I just, I feel like I'm a perfectionist in a way. And it's like, I don't wanna do something unless I know it's gonna work 100%. But it's like, nobody knows if anything is gonna work 100%. But that's like the beauty of life because it's like, if we knew everything, if we knew everything about life, life would be boring. And that's just, I don't know. I don't wanna be boring anymore and it's like, being safe like just being stagnant and not wanting change is like boring and me it's like and it's like right now i have like bigger dreams than like what i'm doing right now so it's like why not just chase after those dreams because if someone else was able to do it i know i can and it's like why be so scared my bad y'all i did not realize this video i was gonna be so emotional but yeah it's like I've just been so scared of change, like taking control of my life and like doing things how I want to do it. And I feel like I've also have been scared of life too, like taking over my life because like my parents, you know, they still are a really big important part of my life and they always will be. And I don't want to say they, they hold me back from doing things I want to do. Because they, they don't hold me back. But at the same time, it's like, I feel like I'm at that point in my life where it's like, I need to, it's like, I need them to like go of me in order for me to like really find out who, who I really am and stuff. So, and like I said before, it's like, I'm a perfectionist. So I don't want people it's like I'm scared to try things because I don't want to fail and I don't want people to see me fail. And it's like, I make YouTube videos, so people, I'm broadcasting my failures all the time. So at the same time, it's like, is it really a failure? Is it really a failure? You just, it's not a failure. It's just, you made a choice and it's just, it's like, I have to switch my mindset. Like, it's okay. Like, it's okay to not be perfect 100% of the time. Like. Even me, like, I made videos on just, you know, positive, uplifting type videos and, like, reaction videos every now and then. And I'm not going to lie, like, this week, I have not been on my A game when it comes to, like, waking up early, working out. I've still been eating healthy, but I've just been kind of out of whack. But I'm getting back on track, so, I mean, that was just, like, a week off. But it happens, but I don't like telling people that side of me because it's deemed as not as perfect so i definitely resonate with the barbie movie like how barbie margot like she wants to be perfect she doesn't like change but things are changing she doesn't know how to react she and like she's there were other themes in the movie too but i don't want to get into those type of themes because i don't really i resonate with them but i don't feel like making a video about it <laughs> But this one really resonates with me the most. So like change and the beauty of change and the beauty of life. Like change is good, change is okay, change is necessary. So I'm just trying to apply, you know, those types of concepts into my life. And, and hopefully this video kind of resonates with somebody out there. Cause I know there's somebody out there that's feeling stagnant and wants to change their life too and stuff but it's like scared and that's okay it's okay to be scared like i'm scared right now making this video because i don't like being emotional on camera so this is like weird for me like i thought this ish was like corny when people would cry on camera but like it's real like that's crazy and look i feel like um barbie talking about people cry <laughs> Um, but all right, you guys, that's pretty much all I have to say at the moment about the Barbie movie. Because uh, this video already made me hella emotional. Now I'm just like, all right, I'm ready to stop recording. <laughs>
but I did want to end off on this video by saying that that was just overall a really good movie I highly highly recommend you go watch it if you haven't already because it's not like a cheesy movie like it's not corny it actually has some real world like stuff in it like it's very 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 relatable so they did a really good job in that movie again i'm not a yelp reviewer y'all i'm not a imbd rotten tomatoes type movie reviewer um i'm just a girl that makes youtube videos but anyways you guys hopefully you enjoyed watching and if you did make sure to like and subscribe and i'll see you guys my next one bye